I definitely see this as a modern day fairy tale. She is our, Rachel Chu is our uh, princess um, slash warrior um, that, uh, that we haven't had before. Someone that, um, yes, it's a love story, romantic comedy, but at the same time, it's about Rachel. Uh, it's her journey through this experience of going to Asia for the first time, uh, her homeland, um, and uh, finding who she is. And I always uh, described it as the, the, the birth of the dragon within her because she goes in there, all American girl, and she comes out with this appreciation of uh, her past. So there was always one choice for Rachel Chu in my mind, that was Constance Wu. Big fan of her work on Fresh Off the Boat, big fan of her work, what she does off the screen. Um, it is her tweets and her uh, writing that really also motivated me as a filmmaker to make a difference. And um, I realized that I had a power that I didn't realize I had before to make something with an all Asian cast or with uh, characters uh, that could be played by uh, Asian Americans that were more than just the cliches that had been done in the past. Uh, so when I was chasing this, the person that uh, spoke to me most was, was, was Constance Wu. We flew him out during his honeymoon, actually. He had to leave his honeymoon. I told him it would be worth it, hopefully. Uh, left his new wife, came, um, this was maybe a week later, so it was all happening very quickly, um, read with Constance. Constance, uh, you know, he was, she was reading with a bunch of different guys, so like very much like was testing each guy to see who could handle it. And, uh, and you could feel the electricity between the two of them immediately. You knew that this is something that I want to watch on screen unfold. Um, the audience would fall in love with them. They're both so charming. They're both so uh, combative with each other, but at the same time, that energy was very, uh, you could, you could, it was very palpable. Everywhere you pointed the camera, it was beautiful. Um, Singapore specifically, this is a sort of a travelogue movie of exploring this town, so, and it's a, it looks like a town from the future, um, both culturally with the food, and then also the giant modern buildings, and then the colonial buildings, and the, so um, all these things, and the people there, it's a very unique blend in Singapore. It's not just Chinese, it's all sorts of cultures coming together. So to be able to uh, point the camera anywhere and know that we're gonna get that sense, and that we can't, it's even hard to describe in the script of what Singapore is, uh, that, uh, that that was really important for our movie, for the identification of our movie to be able to celebrate human beings in all their craziness and all their um, culture, um, wherever, wherever you come from. And that uh, the idea that of the future is that this next generation is taking all these pieces from all these different influences and making it their own. It's the journey of Rachel through a movie. Um, and I think the audience will experience that as well as they see this mishmash, eclectic uh, collection of music, of visuals, of characters, and I think when you go through it, I think you'll just have a blast. Kevin Kwan is amazing. He wrote this book that uh, became a worldwide sensation, um, and uh, and so turning it into a movie is no easy task, uh, but he was the best partner, creative partner, in bringing it to the screen. Um, he both let us do what we needed to do, um, was not controlling and getting his hands in there trying to um, tell us what to do, but at the same time let us interpret it um, and, and, and interjected when he needed to. Uh, if a character uh, wouldn't say something, he would let me know um, how the style, the look, the feel of the world. I mean, this is very much from his own life. So we used him a lot. Um, he was fully accessible. Um, there was no ego in all of this. Uh, one of the most supportive uh, creative partners I've ever had.